All right, everybody, we are here with tight end Brady Russell for the Seattle Seahawks. And Brady, uh, you tweeted at me the other day. Uh, I didn't catch you. I think you tweeted at me first, I, if we're being fair. That, that's fair. So, so I was like, you come out for practice, music's pumping, and you immediately start dancing. And I, I was slow on the draw. So you said I didn't quite get your best dance moves. Uh, am I going to find those today when you hit the field? I think, you'll, yeah, you'll find them all season, if I'm being honest. The sideline, wherever I am, I'm going to be dancing. Well, Brady, uh, you know, it's it's been a while uh, that the Seahawks have had a lot of characters in the tight end room. I don't know, do you know Luke Wilson? Have you interacted with Luke Wilson at all uh, past Seahawks tight end? I don't, but I've heard stories from old tight ends that were here and whatnot, so... Uh, I've heard all the the folklore, if you will. <laughs> yeah, well, you you have some shoes to fill if you want, and I think you have a chance to do it. But talk just a little bit about training camp. You're now seven days in. How are you feeling after the first seven days? Well, I feel great. I feel like we've grown. We've taken a lot of strides forward. Um, I think the tight end room itself, we've been really consistent and really uh, had sharp execution, which has got me really excited. Well, you've played both sides of the ball in college, you know, and and I'm curious, do you bring, do you find like you prefer the aggressive defensive mentality or do you like what the offense allows you to do? Uh, you know, I like to think, I always say this to the defensive coach, I wish they'd let me come pass rush, but uh, <laughs> I have a defensive mentality kind of on the offensive side of the ball, which um, drives a lot of defensive players crazy, I think, uh, because usually we are known to be softer and more intellectual on offense and I think I have the intellect but I also I'm gonna be aggressive well I noticed you know one of the pictures you posted on your Instagram is you hitting somebody it looked like from special teams uh, how much pride do you take in your special teams oh I take immense pride in special teams I think I can really point back to one play last year in the preseason that kind of is the only reason I'm playing in the NFL right now you know so um, I really I could try to get to the point where I'm dang near bothering the special teams coach and annoying him with my presence and being around and enforcing a role there. Uh, and then now I'm just trying to carry that over and spread that to offense as well. But definitely special teams is what's got me here and uh, take a lot of pride in that. Uh, Ryan Grubb, new to the NFL, new to the Seahawks. Um, talk a little bit about how you see him using tight ends in this offense. Uh, he's super smart, so it's cool to learn. I mean, you saw the type of offenses that he's had in the past. So it's been really cool to learn from him, and it's been unique because it's different than anything I've experienced. Um, you said how he uses tight ends. Yeah, I definitely yeah. think we're going to be utilized, and especially with a weapon like Noah in the room, um, with his speed and his athleticism and explosiveness, it's exciting to think of what Coach Grubb's creative mind might do with that. So, uh, you know, you're getting ready for the mock game on Saturday coming up. Um, you know, how does that change uh, your prep, uh, either physically or just uh, in terms of preparation uh, in, the, in the, you know, locker room ahead of the game? Uh, you know, to be honest, the, the try, try not to really have it change anything. Like, my approach for practice should be the exact same as for games. And in fact, that's cool. The Blue Angels are flying over. Yeah. Childhood idols right there. Um, the I'm so distracted now. <laughs> uh, on game days and on uh, mock games and whatnot, scrimmages, preseason, whatever it is, yeah. I, sometimes I try to break my routine actually and not be doing the same thing every week. Yeah. Um, because I'm such a routine-based person, I think it can kind of, I don't know what that really does for me, but I try to break it and do something different every time. Um, well, so you just mentioned the Blue Angels. I was going to ask you about that. I think I already know the answer, but let's say this afternoon they come by and they're like, Brady, you can fly with us. We're going to take a little ride. Is that a heck yeah or is that a heck no? Oh, I'm there immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my brother, he flies in the Marine Corps, and he has some memberships and whatnot outside of that where he got, he's got to take me up in stunt planes. It's one of the coolest things I've ever experienced. Well, you also look like an uh, outdoorsman. Like you love, I've seen some, you know, it looks like a trout, looks like a great catch uh, recently, You've gone duck hunting. If you could do one, go out and uh, do some hunting, go out and do some fishing with the boys, do you have a preference? Uh, I definitely, hunting's my thing. I got some buddies over in the valley that I hunt with, and then, uh, but I mean, summertime, I'm gonna be fishing. I, I don't know if there's really much of a preference there, but if I can, I'm gonna be shooting something. And you're fishing, is that, uh, is that spin rod, fly? What, what, what kind of fisherman are you? 
Uh, back in Colorado, I used to fly fish more, but I don't know much about around here yet. So getting with the locals, went salmon fishing some this spring, doing things like that and just learning the techniques and different ways of their life. But in the spring, I was mostly floating, tossing spinners in the river on my kayak. All right, uh, last question. Um, what is it that you're trying to accomplish uh, to really make sure you solidify your spot on this roster? Is more of a focus on special teams, the more focus on something specific as a tight end. Anything that's like really your focus right now for the rest of training camp? Uh, I'd say, so I kind of see in my NFL career the whole idea, like a little bit of growth every year, right? So last year my whole goal was become an integral part of special teams and then um, by the end, well, by week three or so, I carved that out. Um, this year, my goal is I want to try to solidify some sort of role on offense, right? Just have that incremental growth every year uh, and see where that can take me. So whether that be, I don't know if they want me to line up and play in I formation and play fullback, then I'll do it. If they want me to go play X receiver, I'll do it. Like, I don't care what that role is. There's nothing I'm focused on specifically, but I just want to be... Um, Fill whatever's needed of me. All right, I rely. One more question: What's what's one part of your game or your attribute that maybe people don't know about you, or they 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 underestimate about you, and they're surprised when they get to face you for the first time? Uh, I think my speed is pretty. What's the word I'm looking for? When it, when they don't expect it, but it's there. Do you know what I'm talking about? I do. I do because that was my experience. I was like. Who is that guy blurring by the line in motion? I'm like looking at my roster, I'm like, oh, that's Brady. And I didn't know you had that. You have a track background, right? Uh, I mean, kind of. My grandpa is a, has a lot of Olympian gold medalists and stuff like that. So I was always at the track when I was a kid. Uh, and he coached in college. But yeah, I think speed would probably be the number one attribute that it's like, oh, shoot, you got on my toes quick. Yeah, well, it's definitely noticeable. And Brady Russell, I think you're absolutely making a name for yourself in camp. Uh, really appreciate you taking the time. Absolutely. Have a good have a good camp. Have a good uh, rest of the season. Yes, sir. All right, take Thank care. You. That's Brady Russell, tight end and special team standout for the Seattle Seahawks. Go Hawks. All right, thanks, dude. All right, appreciate Bye. you.